Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, we are going to create another pavilion using rhinoceros, grasshopper, and lunchbox. Uh, first, I want to check the units UN uh, meters, three decimal places. That's good. I want to use loft. I want to go with uh, one of these arcs, maybe for 12 meters. Around here is good. And I want to use another arc, which is a little bit shorter. Uh, and the second arc, I want to move it away. So let's say if it's going to be here. And now I can select the two and use loft to create a surface. Uh, I want to change this to shaded maybe. I want to go to grasshopper and I want to bring a surface. This loft is a surface, right? Yeah, if I right click here and try to assign it, it's not going to allow me. So whenever this happens, just select the surface, go with X or explode, and then it's going to actually take it into parts. Now I can select the two parts and right click and go with set multiple surfaces and now you see that it's easily working here as well uh, I'm gonna maybe hide the surface for now so I can only see uh, the surface in grasshopper uh, we talked about panels for this one I want to use a structure so I'm considering a structure elements here uh, maybe we can go with the Yagrid structure. Surface goes to surface. This seems good. Uh, maybe we can go with a denser mesh. If I assign 15 to U and V, uh, it's going to be a denser set of mesh. Uh, I can hide this. You see uh, the outcome is actually just lines and nodes. Uh, I want to bring one scribble. I want to mention that this is the diagrid. Uh, we can make a group here. Next, I'm interested to actually make pipes out of the lines. So we can work with a pipe option. Let's say the radius is 5 centimeters or 4 centimeters. This goes to R. E is for capping. Yeah, if it's set to 0 by default, it means that it's not going to be capped. I want to change this to 1. It means that it's going to be capped and the cap is going to be flat. Uh, finally, the lines go to C. As soon as you do that, it's going to actually make pipes here. Uh, but you see, this is a dashed line. That means it's a list inside the list. That's because we selected multiple surfaces instead of one. Uh, I would like to flatten this. Now it's much better. Now the only problem is that the two sides over there and over there, those are not actual elements. So in order to make them search our elements as well, I'm going to bring a curve. I'm going to select the two items, right click here, set multiple curves, and now you can actually hide them uh, in Rhino. We have them here already. Uh, now, if you hold shift, you can assign the curves to the C here, and it's going to make pipes out of them too. So the interesting thing in Rhino is that you can assign two items to one input. Uh, this seems good. I want to bring one scribble. Uh, maybe we can name it as pipes. And I want to make a group here. Uh, what I'm interested in as the outcome of this node is the pipe. So I want to actually maybe change one of the names of these layers to pipes. I'll go here. Before baking, I want to check this node. So you see that the outcome again is not flattened. It's a list inside the list. I want to flatten this. 
So it's going to be all in one list and maybe that would uh, take less space on Rhino. I want to bake this into my pipes layer, group them, yes please, all good, okay. Uh, you can save your file and close it. Uh, I can turn on everything and uh, that curve on this end we don't need it anymore and the other curve we don't need this one either. Uh, for uh, this surface I want to move it into one of the other layers maybe layer 2 and I want to rename layer 2 as the surface and for this side as well I need to move it to surface. I'm assuming the surface is more like kind of a, a transparent material or maybe plexiglass so I want to assign more of a glass material to it and to the pipes maybe we can go with some uh, aluminium. So I'm going to go to metal, matte, matte aluminium. That's good. Uh, I want to add a ground surface. So we can see the shadows. And the ground surface only shows actually in rendered view. Turn on the sun and set the location and set it to a summer day. You can actually see the shadows better. If you need a search or elements down there, uh, you can do the same thing that we did for the arc. You can draw a rectangle and uh, make a pipe out of them in Grasshopper.